Hey, Pete here for Studio Live today. Now, as you may be aware, you can use one of these little devices, which is a lightning to USB adapter and a USB cable to connect a MIDI keyboard directly into your iOS device for recording in GarageBand or any other application. The problem is these things cost uh, $40 or $50 to buy for a little piece of plastic with a couple of connectors. That's pretty hefty. Now I have warned against this in the past, so I wanted to actually test this for myself. So today, I have myself an eBay purchase. I'm going to open up this and see what we've got inside. I paid less than $3 for a lightning to USB cable, and I'm now going to test it and see if we get the same results as the $50 Apple equivalent. So here is our setup using the Apple cable. So this is using the genuine Apple USB to lightning adapter and we also have our keyboard plugged into external power because the USB only provides a connection it doesn't provide any power and we're working fine so everything's working what I'm now going to do is I'm going to open our new cable and let's see how we go there it is so we'll open up, I have to use the scissors, no, we can open here. So it's pretty nicely packaged. Already I can feel that it's quite a lot flimsier. Um, the same connectors, clearly, but it, the build quality of this for a piece of plastic definitely feels quite different. So moment of truth now, we are going to unplug our genuine Apple Lightning to USB adapter, put that to the side. Let's grab this one, into the USB cable at that end, and into our phone. The moment of truth. We have liftoff. There you go, I think that is success. So, we have indeed replaced our $50 Apple Lightning to USB cable with something that cost me $2.19. It does go to show that we can use these cords, these inferior quality, I guess, cords, to do the exact same thing. Now, as I said to you as I was plugging this in, you can see the difference here between the two. Uh, this one here is quite thick in the cable and the connections look nice and snug. This one here, it's very lightweight plastic. This cable is not going to last. With a lot of use, I can imagine that this one here is gonna last a lot longer than this, but considering the price tag is between $40 and $50, and this one's three, um, there's quite a big difference there. So there you go. If you're looking for a cheap solution to connect your USB keyboard or piano up to your iPhone, then this is definitely a way to go. So there you go. If you are looking to connect a USB keyboard or piano to your iPhone to using GarageBand or any other application, you definitely can go ahead and use what seems to be any USB to lightning adapter and it is going to work. How long it will work for and how long it will last is obviously the next question. Uh, but if you just want to get started, rather than going and shelling out the $40 or $50, check out on eBay, grab yourself something like this. It's, uh, it's likely to work and again, this is from one particular supplier, so I can't guarantee that every single one that you buy is going to work flawlessly in the same way, um, but it's a pretty good indication that GarageBand is going to support any of these sort of devices you buy.